Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Tips. In this review video, I'm gonna be doing the Bovi Vizio Tune Air WMA uh, 1000. It's a really long name for a really, really cool little uh, uh, little piece of equipment here. So I'm currently in a uh, 2011 Audi A4 and these particular cars did not come with any Bluetooth capability. Unfortunately, it was, uh, it was before really Bluetooth and all that streaming came out. And when I purchased this car back in like 2017, I realized that I wanted the capability to be able to stream music from my phone to my car. And that's when I came across the Bovi. Now, uh, the reviews were mixed, but I went ahead and purchased it back in 2017, 2018. And first and firm foremost, I am so glad that I purchased this thing. Uh, it's now 2022 and this thing works exactly the same as it did the first day that I bought it. Now, it, it's been just about five years and I can honestly say that uh, it's made having this car so much better. I don't have to listen to terrestrial radio and I don't have to mess with CDs or any of that stuff. So what can you do with this? You can wirelessly stream uh, from Pandora, you know, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Amazon Music, all of the, the, the traditional uh, things that you can stream for, from your phone. And you can do this as well with, uh, I believe this works for Audis, Mercedes, BMWs, Volkswagens, Land Rovers, Porsches, uh, and, and all of those cars that are prior to say 2011, 2013, 2011 to 2013 that did not come with Bluetooth capability. So if you own a car, uh, you know, a used car, you got a paid off car and, uh, and it's prior to that and you're looking for a Bluetooth uh, piece of equipment, then the Bovi is probably gonna be your best bet, okay? And I don't know if you guys can see in there, it comes with this little, uh, this little cord, this adapter. And I'm gonna tell you guys some of the things that I like about it and then the one thing that I don't like about it, okay? So the first thing is it's plug and play, okay? It's, it's very instant installation. As soon as you plug this in, it syncs with your phone and then it's gonna ask you for uh, a pairing code. It's like a four digit code. You type that code in and it instantly syncs your phone via Bluetooth to your car, which is really, really nice, right? And it shows up here as a uh, uh, media and iPhone and then it, whatever's playing, it will actually uh, show up here on, and this is for Audis, of course. I don't know what it's gonna look like on other cars, but you guys can see here, it looks, uh, you know, it looks exactly how it's supposed to, right? For, and I've got Amazon Music hooked up. It works with Apple, Android, doesn't really matter what kind of phone you have. Uh, it will connect with the Bluetooth. Uh, it allows you to browse uh, your personal music library, just like an iPod uh, or an a, you know, old school iPod or anything like that. Most of the time I just use it to stream. It allows you to also switch between music uh, and playback with like a um, hands-free phone or anything like that. Meaning like if you get a phone call, it will actually switch this off and then it will allow you to, you know, talk like normal, like you would like a hands-free phone, which is really nice. And as soon as the phone hangs up, it does just like modern cars today, it, uh, it connects back to the, to the music and starts playing again. So the one thing I do not like about the Bovi and it drives me crazy is that if I have my phone connected uh, say via Bluetooth uh, around my garage, around my house or anything like that. I have, you know, some wireless, uh, nice uh, noise canceling headphones. If I walk out to my car and I open the door, it literally cuts the Bluetooth off for my headphones and it, and it sinks um, immediately sinks to this, right? So that's like the syncing capability of the Bovi. It, like it, it stays, once it gets connected, it stays connected. So anytime I open my car door, this thing turns on and it syncs to my phone, right? So it stops whatever uh, whatever else it was uh, Bluetooth connected to. So I would say that is probably the one downside to it, but that's the only downside to it. And I'm, after I did it, you know, five, 10 times, I'm, I'm cognizant that if I have something connected to my phone, that I know that if I open my car door, it's probably gonna disconnect, right? So I'm a little more strategic about how I approach my car if, if, if that's the case. All right, so that's the Bovi uh, Vizio Tune to Air. Uh, again, it's smart tips. Thanks, guys, for watching. See you guys on the next one.